Hi, I'm Storm Tracker 18 meteorologist Jess Langlois. After a bright start to our Sunday, we did see those clouds moving back in along with a disturbance. Thankfully, we stayed dry across the area, but it did uh, bring in some gloomy weather for us here. We, despite that, made it into the mid 30s in Eau Claire, some lower 30s from Rice Lake through Ladysmith, stuck in the upper 20s in Medford, but the rest of us in the 30s today. And while we did see that cloud cover move in, it's going to be hard to get it to move out of the area, especially overnight. We're going to stay cloudy, and even into Monday, we're going to see that cloud cover lingering. And it's going to be a mostly cloudy day for us. Dry, though, not expecting any snow showers. And even into Monday afternoon, perhaps a little bit of a break of sun here or there, but really going to be a mostly cloudy day for us. That continues overnight into Tuesday morning. Now, Tuesday, we have a little bit better chance of seeing that cloud cover clearing out, but we still are looking at at least a mostly cloudy first half of the day. Despite that cloud cover, though, we're continuing to see temperatures above average for this time of year, looking like we'll top out somewhere in the mid to upper 30s in the Eau Claire area tomorrow, as well as Tuesday. Wednesday, our best shot for temperatures in the 40s, as we do see uh, better chances for sunshine as well, before things cool down a little bit at the end of the week. And that's thanks to this mild air. You'll notice cooler air over the eastern half of the country, some uh, warmer air currently going to be uh, moving over the western part of the country. You'll see it more in the Dakotas tomorrow here in Wisconsin. We'll be kind of in the middle, but still enough to be a little bit above average. By Wednesday, though, we'll really start to see that more mild air settle in at least for a day or so. And that's going to bring us those temperatures in the 40s. But for tonight, we're looking at temperatures in the lower 20s. That's still a, a good 8 degrees above average for this time of year. So that cloud cover really will keep in what uh, warmth we do have and stop temperatures from falling off as much. Tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures in the mid-30s, mostly cloudy throughout the day, but that is still above average. Other than that, it's a quiet day, not expecting any rain or snow. And then as we head through the rest of the week, we're dry at least through Wednesday. Wednesday looking like the brightest, warmest day of the week as of right now. Thursday, we start to see uh, some slight chances for some very light showers, but the best chances to see rain or snow this week are looking like this uh, late in the week as we head into early in the weekend. System is uh, likely going to impact the upper Midwest in some way. It's still very early to nail down exact details and impacts for us here, but that is when we will see the best chance for rain or snow is in that time frame. And of course, we'll continue to refine that over the next several days.